I saw your face in a crowded place. And I kissed your lips, they taste like poo. Welcome to another beautiful week of John and Daniel vlogs. I've come to the park so late, there is nobody at all here, which is not great. Because these dogs need socialising and because I didn't go out, it's two days, I didn't take the dogs out, I feel so bad. But I just needed that time for myself, you know. You know, it's, it's all good, it's all good. But I'm, you know, it's a new week and I'm feeling fresh and I'm feeling, I'm not that fresh actually, that was a lie. Because that's why I'm late, because I'm like climbing out of bed and Millie's like trying to jump in the bath and, you know, <laughs> buy everything. I mean, she's so good. Like, I really can't fault her. She's just, you know, she's at that stage. And now I christen you Daniel. For later. Come on, Daniel, let's get you out of the oven. She looks okay. Um, let me see if it's cooked. Oh, shit. Needs longer. Can you see? He's got the pink juices in. Oh, crap. Come on, make another. Alexa, set the alarm for 20 minutes. Back in the oven. See you in a bit, Daniel. <laughs> okay, just turn around and finish off my editing. Thank you very much, Melly. Okay, you ready? Mmm. <laughs> it's um, got rosemary, thyme, garlic, salt and pepper, and obviously an onion shoved at Daniel's arse. I wonder if I cooked it too long now. Maybe it didn't cook properly straight away because of the onion. Oh, it's good. It's not dry, that's the most important thing. I played some driving lessons with my dad and I haven't been driving for years. <laughs> the dogs downstairs to have a poo and a wee and um, Sonny was downstairs and the neighbour with the dog which she's looking after and Millie was playing around and doing all her silly stuff anyway came back upstairs and thought she's not gonna have a shit all over the frigging balcony so I had to get the hot water and pour it out and then rinse it down the like drain hole so annoying anyway I put pads all over the house just now because she came in I took the pads up, didn't I? So she had a pee in the lounge, just all over like, cry me a river, cry me a river, everywhere. You are disgusting, Millie Moo. Just pissing and pooing, you're like a big poo machine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, sleep now, we need to go sleep. Alexa, lights off. God, Millie last night was so clean. It was pushed right to one side of the bed. It was ridiculous. Both those were, she was on the pillow, Jack in the background, and then Millie was like spooning me really close to my body. 
you know, it's nice <laughs> to get that much attention, but it was quite uncomfortable. But you know, I slept okay, I'm up early, my hair's sticking out of that side. I need to get some hairspray, then back to work. Oh my God. Millie, she has no milk. None whatsoever. What is she doing? First of all, she has zero milk. Secondly, why is Jack allowing her to do it? I mean, maybe it's a comfort thing, but there's nothing in that. It's literally just saggy skin. You know, all the mammaries have gone back down again. No milk. Nothing. Alexa, kitchen on. We're all trying to keep our power levels down, meeting gas electricity. And Daniel said to me yesterday, um, oh, he said, turn the heating down at night. And you know, I am doing that. I'm turning the heating down at night because it's too hot for me when he's in here. But then um, the temperature, it says that, you know, my the average temperature, the temperature what I like is 23 degrees. I'm cold now, it's at 22. 22, 21 degrees, I think. I'm cold now. But I turned it all the way down to 19 last night. Oh, I don't freaking know. But, you know, maybe I just put a fucking jumper on. What, what temperature did I put it up to? 22 and it's chilly. You know, it's maybe the thermostat isn't working properly. Or maybe I should just put a jumper on. I'm going to make seafood pasta. And that's what I defrosted earlier. Brown, brown pasta. We used it this morning, um, mixed with some loaves, sugar, granola, but I'm still hungry anyway. It's been um, at least half an hour since I had my breakfast. I'm massive, you know, I'm so fat. I know I'm not fat, you know, but oh, I ain't come. This is my logic. Look at this. What's that? That's how I look. That's my face, you know. All this crap round here. What I need to get rid of. And the only way I'm going to get rid of that is by continuing what I'm doing. I know I haven't picked up the weight. Actually, that's a lie. You know, I've actually picked my arms a couple of days ago, but I didn't film it. I'm telling you, but I didn't show you. And the reason why I'm telling you is because I wasn't good, meaning that I stopped. So I did my arms and then. I didn't do anything else, which is really, really bad. But it's good, you know, it's fine. Like, I'll... You know, all I do is fucking moan, innit? You know? I've got all these opportunities to, like, help myself. And I don't, my focus is on other shit. You know, I'm glad you're here listening to me because it's like, this is so therapeutic for me. Because otherwise, I'd be just, I'd be going stir crazy. I would be absolutely, I'd be going absolutely mad. You know, that's one of the reasons why I started this channel. Actually, the reason why I started this channel is so that I could get myself out there to anybody who cares to listen and watch and see what's going on in my life. Not care about the judgment because you can't. I'm sorry, this is who I am. So if you don't like it, you know, go somewhere else. And then um, it's really helped. So I can moan, get everything out <laughs> what's in my head. You have to listen to all this bullshit. And that's it. That is it. That is it. Tin tomatoes. I've got quite a lot of sugar in, but I'm going to use them anyway. Remember, it's not sugar I'm concerned about. It's saturated fats at the moment. Can I tell you something? I'm quite ashamed of it. I sent a few emails this morning, I replied back to somebody who wants a website, who happened to be in Texas. So the time is a bit weird. They're six hours behind the UK. And um, I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything again. I'm fucking lazy. I feel, so, I'm, I honestly, I, I, I'm just, I feel so lazy. But you know, I'm just laid in bed watching Hoarders and the American version. 
It's not very productive at all, is it? Yes, I think I've kind of lost my mojo this week. I wonder if it's down because Daniel's not here. Um, food, whether it's just my stupid fucked up brain, which is playing tricks on me. But, you know, you know what it is, right? You must have had this, you know when you get the conflicts in your brain, like, I've got to do this, you should do that, you need to compare yourself to that person. Oh, no, you don't need to compare yourself to anybody. So you know, I'm trying to answer all these questions in my mind and it's causing so much stress on me that when I actually sit down and focus on doing something, it's like, well, why are you doing this? Because this is not what you're supposed to be doing, you know? You know, actually, you know, if I was, if I actually got my brain in gear and I was speaking to somebody else, I would say, John, stop fucking stressing because the stuff what you're doing at the moment is not gonna bring money in. What's gonna bring money in is when you go around to the local businesses and then you start getting websites that way, you know? You start actually pushing, and that's what I, want, I know I need to do. You know, I, I'm the, but the thing is, the flyers haven't come yet. So, and I'm stressing out, saying the flyers aren't here. I should be doing something else, but why? Why don't I just take this time for myself to relax? I got the caravan for a re reason, a very good reason, and that was to put myself in a position in the caravan when I just couldn't work. I was stuck, I was literally bored believe it or not, in the caravan, and I forced myself to do that. And this is what I need to do here as well, but it's so difficult when you're always in your own home and in your workspace, and it's like, you know, you can't, your environment dictates exactly what you think. You know, if you don't know that by now, then trust me, it is absolutely a fact. Your environment will determine how you think. If you live in a dirty, messy home, you know, I've done it, don't get me wrong, I'm not, um perfect well, I am but then your, your your brain's not gonna be right unless you learn to cut it off however my environment is my home so I still have to learn to cut it off meaning don't chill so I close the curtains in the bedroom and I put hoarders on I'm watching that because I'm trying to make myself feel better because at least the house is clean you know I'm looking at all these people who've got massive problems I'm trying to make myself feel better I wish you were here now with me, you know, just to have a chat with me, just to distract me. What would you say to me? You'd probably say, fucking get over yourself, John. Would, is that what you'd just say? Or would you say, oh, let's have a chat, let's have a drink, let's go and do some crack on the local bench? I have no idea. You notice that all my foods are the same, meaning the base is usually not necessarily tomato so much, but onions and garlic. Is that normal? No, I think I'm limited because I'm not using creams. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm not even thinking. Like, I've got a lot in my head. A lot. Just lost the wheel, going to the hospital. We've been in this hospital since 10 o'clock in the morning and now it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And even though this is a private hospital, this is an Italian hospital, and still the service is so slow, I'm just, I'm dying. But anyway, they are in now and they're just speaking to the doctor and 
and see what she says. Day I had today, I deserve a pizza <laughs> or four pizzas. <laughs> it's like what 12 pounds for four pizzas? Not bad. She woke me up straight first thing in the morning. I was like laying in bed thinking, Oh god, I gotta get up, and my back was hurt. And then she comes buzzing. It's like Saturday vibes. <sighs> it's like supposed to be laying today. <laughs> And today, Dalma is modeling a beautiful set of Christmas stockings with some very stylish trainers today. A nice mark on her leg and a very stylish woolen dress with some dog shit on the front. You look absolutely beautiful. It's <laughs> so freaking cold. It's like, obviously, all the gas prices are literally going through the roof. Dalma's saying it's like. It's, she thought somebody was stealing her electricity, it's that high. I didn't even look, I mean Daniel looks after the gas electricity, he just told me to be careful. So I turned the electricity down last night again. I don't know if it made any difference because I turned it right back up again this morning. I want one of those hives, you know one of those, um, you know those ones where you can program and say okay put it down now and you, because so, mine does not do that, you have to manually set it. I don't know if it does it. I don't know if I can get one, but even if it does work, I think it's from expensive. I don't know, I might look into it. Ooh! Be careful with her jack, so rough. It's not to fly in. Guess where I'm going. I mean, I haven't been for such a long time, but I'm actually going shopping. This is my shopping outfit, what I'm going to try and get today, so I can go around the local businesses and just say, hey guys. I'm a website designer, buy one for a million pounds. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to, I'm, oh, that's gonna be so annoyed with me. No, I mean, it's not, because I'm just gonna ask the sales assistant, what should I get? Hello, bitches. Apparently he's gotta get some stuff as well. But I need new jeans, I, I need new shoes. And I asked him, I said, do you know what you get? He said, yeah, I'm really good when it comes to fashion. I don't think he fucking is. I think he's gonna come out looking like a chav. Listen, like a 40 year old chav. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go get a bigger cock. That's for sure. That's what my missus asked for. So, there you go. Buy it. New trainers, new jeans, new jacket, new car, new woman. I don't know what else. You're from Hamsmith. <laughs> Look, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna ask for a bottle of prostitute and um, a bottle of vodka and prostitute. <laughs> I think, bro, mm -hmm. they changed it. Change what? Oh shit, I'm just trying to find a place what can actually, you know, tell me what I need to wear, I can't really guess. And they used to be H&M, but... They're changing the music, are they? Crap. Anyway, look, that's the outfit. I think I can film it. It's alright, but you can see. That way. It's okay, no? It's fantastic. I think so, it's really... Um, Okay. It's really good. That's one outfit. Okay, let me do the other one now. Oh my gosh. Are these two? Wait, where's that woman? That doesn't matter. It's combination is no fucking chance. Well, what do I do then? Change it for a fucking different fucking clothes. Problem is, I don't know what to change it to. Listen, we'll find something. Medium, maybe these are large. Let me just try to see if the medium ones work on no, there. No, 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 because then I can... Um, it's not that. No, I know that, but then... What? Don't tell me. That doesn't work. The top doesn't work. Even if you change the bottom, the top doesn't work. You know the fucking cricket that, that just died? I hated that so much. It was horrible. Oh, sunshine. Horrible. Hate it. Sunshine is back. Sunshine Horrible. is back from the shop. 
the fuck is Olaf? It's like I've sent him so many messages. Where are you downstairs paying? And then, oh, I don't know, it's in my head in. Where are you, motherfucker? Don't know where he's gone. He's like, you know, so many messages and just no text back, no nothing. I'm gonna have to go in a minute. My, my parking's gonna run out. I paid 10 quid to park here, by the way, 10 pounds. <laughs> Back, you know, I was I was driving, and then I saw Olaf. He bloody walked back, not to his phone anyway. So I made sure the dogs were okay. I'm looking after Sunny for a little while, just taking out for a shit. And um, you know, just kind of, I don't even know why I'm cleaning the flat, but I am. And I bought some Kellogg's cornflakes, cornflakes, honey nut clusters. So I had a bowl of honey nut clusters. I should have eaten the chicken, which I really should have eaten today. And I might eat it later. Actually, do you know what? Maybe I should marinate it now, you know, so it's ready for grilling. Oh, I'm going to do that. Mmm, there's quite a lot in there. It's four units. I say marinate them, but I'm thinking, get down. But I'm thinking, you know what? My, I'm, oh, I know what to do. Olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper, you know. Oh, I'm just going to do that, make it simple, because I really wanted lemon, I can't find any lemon. And then, you know, ready to put under the grill. else to add in here. I'm gonna put some pepper in but also I wanna put this chicken spice. Oh <laughs> oops smells nice. Thank you. And some paprika. I threw that um, fresh basil away so I put some dried basil in. Oh, hello, it looks great. Nicely covered there, thank you very much. So what I'll do with this, I'll just put it in the fridge for a little bit until I want to eat it. <laughs> I actually want to eat it, I want to put some honey in. But what I might do, no, no honey, should I? No, don't need honey. Especially because I have those crunchy nut honey cornflakes with lots of honey and sugar and probably extra sugar because, oh, <gasps> I could have some of all that sausage. It's not Polish, it's still sausage. So I've made an executive decision to oven bake this Wake chicken. up in the morning, one thing, some breakfast. What margarine do I spread on my toast? Oh, bite the light. Right, one, two, three. And then I'll stick them in the oven when it all gets to temperature. This is a lot of foil for this, by the way. Bye bye. This chicken's got to be done. Touchy bean. It's big. I think it's overcooked. Uh, I didn't hear Alexa beep. Ooh. You, I say that, I think it's done, but I kept the temperature on really low, so I'm going to have to cut into it. But it'll be really moist, whatever.
not impressed face you know what it just tastes like i'm gonna have to change my mixture and i think it would have been better with butter you know some creamy butter in there it's fucking margarine man you know what am i supposed to do but i've got to look after my health i was speaking to my auntie today and debbie and remember auntie debbie speaks like this yes john let's talk about cholesterol so um she said to me, John, can I just ask, how is your cholesterol? And I told her, I said, Auntie Debbie. Well, that wasn't me. I saw it back to her. So I said, it's quite high. And she said, well, you know, it might be genetical. It might be genetics. Because she's got quite high cholesterol. I'm thinking, all right then. But, you know, I'm going to keep doing this diet for three months. And then um, see what... We said the doctors before I even consider going on any kind of medication. Because what I said to Debbie is, if I know my cholesterol level does not go down after three months' time, then I know it's genetics and I can't do much about it. So then I will have to go on statins, which is acceptable. But if I can get it down, that's great. If it doesn't go down enough, then it needs to increase a few things. One being exercise. Oh, yes. Oh yes, I've made many promises to you that I will actually start doing exercise, and I haven't. Well, I've stepped it up, but nowhere near the amount I should have. So that's the plan. Oh my God, that balcony. You see, I don't know if you can see through the window. Look at that shit all the way down. I'm going there. Oh my god. I can't face it. I can't, I can't fucking face it this morning. So well, I've had a bit of a rough night to say the least. Let me turn this down. Oh my god, just I've had enough, you know. So I just there's a lot of drama going on at the moment which you don't need to hear about. And it's affecting me a lot. But I need to get on with my own life. Looking forward to Daniel coming tomorrow, which will be, you know, I mean, oh my God. Oh God, she's had his shit on the floor. Why have you got diarrhea again? Oh, Hello, sicky Sunny. Who's going to vomit all over no, Dana? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Stick it between your legs. Oh. oh, that's it. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, stop doing that. Just make sure that he feels confident, so don't kind of mollycoddle him. Just go say, come on, yay! Okay, sit down. Good girl. Distract him. Everything's good. Yeah. Yeah. So bloody cold, you know. I know. I was quite surprised, even though it's bright. Yeah, because it was sunny, like, yeah. we went for a little bit. But... We're just going to go to Bishop's Park and hopefully we can get there really quick so Sunny doesn't vomit on Dalma. But if it's if he it does, it'll be funny. <laughs> no, it won't be funny. It's not going to happen, yes. Dalmuska is cold without vomit, which is always a bonus. Uh, well. A slaver. It was actually really popular. And you can get down on it still. There's actually a little gate where the Victorians used to come and visit this park and then go down onto the beach to so sunbathe them do their thing. Obviously, because of all the disgusting pollution which has been in the Thames over the years, it's not advisable. <laughs> oh, it's windy. These are the gates. This is what used to open just here, which has got the lock on. And these little steps never used to be here. And they used to, the Victorians used to come in, walk down the steps, walk down the steps, and then go on the beach. Incredible. I was really kind in pointing out that because I sprayed fake tan on my face yesterday, I thought I'll clean my face. But I had so much produce in my hair, I didn't bother cleaning my hair. So now I've got a really white hairline. 
You know, I saw it and kind of ignored it. Thanks for bringing that up, Dharma. Bitch. I think I've tried my eyebrows too dark. Oh my God. If you saw me half an hour ago, I was in the bathroom panicking like mad and I got bleach, raw kitchen bleach, and I just put it all over my face and tried to rub off all the dye. There's still some underneath there. Oh, I'm not, I've got that as well. Is that fair cool? And I'm thinking that, because oh, my, uh, my grandfather has skin cancer, so it's really worrying me at the moment. So I think I'll have to go into the doctors and put that, but look how dark everything is. I've dyed my eyelashes, my eyebrows, my beard, cut the sides of my hair, so it's a bit more, um, I don't know, a bit smarter for Daniel when he comes by. And for me, and obviously for my wonderful clients, which hopefully I'll see next week when the flyers come. It's not too bad, is it? Is it really bad? This is the white fish which Olaf gave me, and I'm gonna bake it. And the way I'm gonna bake it is, I'm supposed to put butter in, and I'm not gonna use butter, I'm gonna use Bite the Light. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna salt and pepper, some herbs, um, and just let it bake. It should be really nice. Salt, pepper, garlic, butter. Bite the Light. You know what I forgot? I forgot to have a bloody garlic in here. But it is. There's lots of parsley, so it's oh. I've got to taste it. Oh my god, what the fuck do I look like? Pretty nice, actually. It's really... <coughs> oh my god, the nut bones. It's actually really good. Again, Better if there's butter. I actually don't know if this needs garlic. You know, I think it would be um because this fish is so delicate in the flavour. I don't think you put garlic with it because it'd be too strong. Mmm. <sighs> mm. You never see Albanian weather like this. It's horrible. Waiting for my driver. No joke. All this stuff. Twenty quid. I don't know which kind of birds they are, but they're going crazy. There's no electricity on the damage to my face today I have just scrubbed it with alcohol you know the alcohol gel thing 80% and it's burning like fuck and but then what I used was a scrubbing brush on it because you know I'm trying to get some of these dye off I can't be walking around I went to the shop and the guy's like looking at me and he's I'm thinking Oh my god, you can see every bit underneath his beard is stained. There he's stained under it. I mean, it looked like I painted on my fucking beard. And my eyebrows are stained underneath my eyebrows. Anyway, after all that damage, I'm just going to leave this on for as long as I can. For my skin to kind of go, oh yeah, thanks. A bit of moisturizer back. And this is heavy shit, but you know, it needs it. So freaking annoyed. I spoke to my cousin Dawn yesterday and I was telling her about the shoes what I bought in TK Maxx, which are Lacoste. And because I wanted to get some trendy trainers. And um, before I bought the shoes, the guy who was there, he must have been, I don't know, 11 and a half. And um, what's in there? He's like seven foot tall, 11 and a half. 
And I said to him, look, <laughs> I need some trainers for less than a hundred pounds. Would you going to be trendy at X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And um, he showed me the trainers. I was like, okay. I said, they need to be white. They need to be leather, you know, a little bit hard wearing. And then he pointed me towards these lovely looking, by the way, I know nothing about fashion, anything at all. I really am so bad. Um, and um, he pointed me towards these Lacoste ones, which I thought looked good. I thought, oh no, the lame Lacoste. I've always known that. Are they okay? And they're only 50 quid. So I thought, okay, forget those. Told this story <laughs> to my cousin. She said, Lacoste, she said, they are shit. You need to get Nike or Adidas at least. And I was like, oh my God. And she said, <laughs> she said, if somebody walked up my drive wearing Lacoste trainers, trying to, you know, sell something to me or try to, um, I don't know, create an image. She said, oh, let them in. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm really knackered up now. But the thing is, my mum bought me the trainers. She gave me the money back for my birthday. Um, so I'm thinking, shall I keep them, the Lacoste, and get some other ones? Anyway, I'm not quite sure, but what I am going to do, I'm going to probably, if I can get out, go today and get some Nike trainers so that they look okay. I'm going to go with Dalma to Shepherd's Bush. Because I can't have my feet looking like shit, you know? I mean, the, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Absolutely nobody at the park today. That's because I've come late. Just, again, I don't have the motivation. You know, I've, I have actually got a lot on my mind. I really can't tell you a lot of stuff. I can't tell you anything, actually. But luckily Daniel's coming today and then maybe he can help me get motivated to do the balcony, it's disgusting. Or maybe I should just try and, I just want, you know, get these shoes and then go to bed. That's what I really want to do. I need Daniel back. I <laughs> don't ever say that. I do miss Daniel a lot and I know he's, you know, he's, he can help me. So we've got a short period of time Got to go and find the shoes, got to get some poo bags. What you've got to get? Shoes. Shoes. Heels for tomorrow. Oh yeah. So at the restaurant, sorry, restaurant, at the hotel down the worksite, there's a lady called Lady Wimbledon and she's really high, high, high society. She's got like a thousand million, hundred thousand million followers and she's holding this big event and it's all the, la is it Ladies Day? Yeah, International Women's Day. International Women's Day. So I will be there, first of all, <laughs> with my big hat on. <laughs> Dama's got a really nice dress, but she hasn't got the right shoes, so she wants to find nude shoes. Is that right? Yes, in 45 minutes. <laughs> in four oh God, let's see if we can do no, it's that. it's only three shops. <laughs> well, I need to go. And also, I'm not that bothered about getting the shoes so much if I can't find them. I'm more interested in getting shit pads. I'm going back and stressing out. I really need Daniel to get back. I want him to help. Do that what balcony late. He's, he's flying from Albania at seven o'clock at night. Um, but what that means is that... Um, and might be delayed. He was delayed going out there as well. Yeah. But maybe he'll bring a dildo back wrapped up in silver foil. <laughs> what, you send it to his mum? <laughs> So we ended up in Westfield and I actually thought that we were going just to like crappy Shepherd's Bush but they have a Nike store which I've just found but I'm going to go with Dalma because she, she's crap at fashion. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like the worst. I've got no idea what I'm looking at. I mean, if you want to help. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to go and help her because I don't want to look but like crap. Idea. Do you? They're bad ideas. They're always bad ideas. They're not nude enough, really. No. They're quite beige. That one is like pinky. Very, very pink. Found some trainers, and I was gonna get Nike, but what I've actually got is Polo trainers. So they look really good. They're, I mean, they're not as expensive as those things in paper, which is always a good thing, but that leaves me with a little bit more money to go and get some other stuff for me. They're very funky. I like them. I'm sorry, I really like them. You know, when I'm walking, I'm because the big cross. 
They're coming off your feet, aren't they? Biking, freaking H&M, trying to match up some clothes from the other day. I can't find anything. I didn't get anything from H&M. I literally got those trainers and then, it's ridiculous, you know. They have the, okay, I bought these crap, and I really, I'm never gonna wear these corky things, whatever. Corky. Corky things. You got all your shit, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Found myself a nice piece of meat yesterday. Not a nice piece, but a decent piece. It was, um, I said it was a good discount from 10 pounds 75 to six quid. So what I decided to do with, is, um, with it is roast it. But before I roast it, I am covering a plate and I'm covering it in black pepper, salt, paprika, a little bit of chili powder, some other herbs, and, and I'm gonna roll it. So it's gonna be like a crusted outside. Then I should be able to slice it. There you go, put some parsley in it as well. So, and then I should be able to slice it nice and thin, but I wanna make sure, Actually, I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. So if I put it up to like 190, then I'm going to turn it down. And hopefully the outside's got oh, garlic on it as well. Then the outside's going to be nice and crispy, but then I don't, I want the inside to be, you know, um, I don't want it to be dry. Oh, I'm going to have to time this really well, aren't I? Oh, hot paprika. Let's get some normal paprika. And then roll. You can see that all the herbs are now sticking to the ends. Try not to waste any, get it as well covered as I possibly can. Okay. I reckon it'll go in the oven for about an hour, maybe a bit less. Alexa Kitchen on, hopefully this should be, um... <laughs> Alexa Kitchen on. Alexa, thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I think this should be done now. Move, Mini Moo, come on, move. Come on, out of the way. Too hot, move. Woo! Oh! Let's have a look what we got. Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Turn that off. So I'll let's let you rest for 20 minutes. I want to eat it now. I really want to eat now. I'm starving. In the fridge, oh freaking olives, I can't eat that. I can eat the ones without the red things in, but oh my God, what he's rubbed my stomach is so sensitive. I had one with a chili stuck through it. This was a few weeks ago, I paid for it. One chili, you know, I can eat a little bit of chili, but not a raw chili. No way, what am I gonna eat? I'm so hungry, I'm starving, I'm wasting away. Oh my God, perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, you can have a little bit. No, I'm going to have the end bit. I'll give you dog some. Sit. Sit. Move it off. Give me five. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, you have that one. Jack, give me five. Okay, you can have the big one. Ha <laughs> ha therapy before I take the plane. I always get this anxiety when I'm doing a long journey, but maybe the shopping will help. <laughs> you know what? It will be very awkward if they check my bag and they find this thing. So I'm gonna no, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna hide you somewhere. Hopefully my dad doesn't come. <laughs> Thanks, John. My neighbor has a cow, pigs, chickens, everything. It's like a proper village around here. makes the best burek ever. 
only puts eggs and cheese. It doesn't know to make anything else. It's nice. This is literally the most uncomfortable plane ride ever. So on the right, there's a mother and daughter. They keep talking and playing all the time. In front, there's a child that keeps eating their seat. On the left, everybody is eating on my arm. And then at the back, if somebody's playing the music out loud, this is so uncomfortable. It's funny that it takes longer to go to Albania than coming back. Downstairs, in the middle of the road, baby pigeon. Oh, it's freezing. Are you scared? Oh, God. First thing I'm come out. First thing I've done. I've put him in the bathroom out of the way of the dogs. He's in shock and maybe in pain, who knows? Yeah, I don't know what to do. But for call this piece here, I cannot be dealing with a pigeon, you know. I've got enough on the last thing what I want is a pigeon to look at. But I'm gonna call them and see what they say. They say something stupid like we're not interested, leave it, put it out in the street. They can't do that, can they? I'll just call them and ask. I've been on hold all this time with RSPCA. She's died. Look, rigor mortis is already set in. It's, you know, it's not, I know it's only a baby pigeon, but it's still not very nice, you know? I don't know what it was doing in the middle of the street. Fuck. I'm gonna take it outside. Oops. Bye bye, pigeon. really sad i think i think he got cold i put him in i put him in the bath i turned the heating up full white i think it was just so cold outside i can't think about this shit man you know you know stress the dogs in the house straight into well obviously it was in the blanket just there then i put him in the bath yeah i've washed my hands <laughs> really I fucking hate this I hate oh. I mean what will you know <sighs> what did I do did I do something wrong should I have kept him close to my body uh, should I have got the puppy pad out from downstairs too much stress with the dogs me pick him up outside car I think it was the stress of everything Guess who's home? Guess who's home? Okay, 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 one by one, one by one. Mini first, mini first. Come on, hug, 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 I missed you, John. What about Jack? I missed Jack. Always missing. Okay, no, you won't listen. Okay, I'm tired now. 
Okay. So how was your day? What were you doing? I told him about how traumatized I was from that bird. I like, really traumatized, it upset me. And he was like, you got stains on my t-shirt. So insensitive. It says I a understand. lot. It says a lot about you. All right, as long as you know, all you had to do was say, "Are you okay?" And you didn't say that. Just jump okay? literally to, "You got stains on my t-shirt." Are you okay, John. Well, I would have been if you asked me if I was okay at that point, but not jumping straight to fucking stains on t-shirts. I don't know what goes of that bloke's head sometimes. You know, he calls me up. He says, "This has happened. That's happened." I'm like, talk to him. I say, "This is that," and then I don't just change the subject to like back on me. She's breaking so much stuff. Didn't tell you, but yesterday she smashed the dog bowl. Clean it off the side. I mean, I was really stressed with yesterday. I was gonna make, you know, full roast dinner, and then it's like it got so late. I was like, okay, salad and chicken. It's, it's a nice day anyway, you know. It's, it's light. Well, it would have been if I didn't make a shit ton of salad. I realise I'm. <laughs> Today's. A very beautiful day and a very beautiful day not to be out outdoors and I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna be here in the park for hours and play with the dogs let John make the money for a change <laughs> that's on that that this pigeon have created over the winter it's insane I hope they don't come back it's a disaster for you it's going to be so much work I would not even start it at that. That's why John didn't start this, because he knew this was going to be working left for me. I can't do it with these pictures anymore. It's took me the whole day, and I'm still going. The net is going up. Bye bye. Hello. He's waiting to ship on the balcony. I, I do all the work and he's planting about, you know, so doing the flag. When no. my bush is your bush, you need to do your bush. And then he tells his friend, I did oh, my bush. I, I did it. Did I, just, did I do it? Did I, Daniel? Did I? He tells his friend that he, he cleaned the balcony, you know, and he's like everything was dirty and he, he was wasting well, I just all his. the bike wall, I've got all the kitchen stuff all the pot from the net, and I use that. Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Bye. Bye. Thank you for helping me. Just a little bit, John. <laughs> I did. It's a lot cleaner. No pigeon shit anywhere. Very happy. Thank you, Daniel. That's good, though. What is it? What is it? What is it? What's going on? See, the thing is, the other dog walkers in the park, they can't even afford toys. So what they do is give them a stick to share. <laughs> up yesterday the food and now we're just gonna make her some plain chicken oh. <laughs> she wants to eat the phone some plain chicken some rice Shit. 
cuss, I'm gonna go for a little meeting. It's nothing, to, it's not my business. It's um, my friend Rose's business, but I thought, you know, I'd make a bit of an effort and all that. Thank you, Daniel. It was your turn to cook. <laughs> Very nice and healthy. Better than my baked fish. It's got olive oil on. It's a lot better. It's a lot better than what I did. Of course, I cook better than you. You are English. <laughs> I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful, that's true. I saw your face in a crowded place. And I kissed your lips. They taste like poo. Daniel's now panicking because he thinks he's got psoriasis in the head. I might, he might have. Daniel's had a bit of eczema, haven't you, on your body? Is it eczema on your face? And he like panics about it and now he's found a bit in his head. I mean, it's so common. And I've said to him that what he needs, he needs a, a sperm injection um, just underneath his skin. Uh, it's like a whale sperm. Guys, it's the end of the week and thank you so much for watching this video. And as per usual, if you've got to this point in the video, I'll say thank you very much for watching, but we will see you next week on Thursday at 6.30 when I'm gonna be in Sheffield.